Shout out to Ash and Lewis for sending me this story right here. And this story is just sad and it's disturbing and shocking too. You're, like this is actually going to be one of those stories where you're probably going to be legit shocked at this particular case. This man's name is Antonio Bridges and he is 34 years old and he was suspect he's he's a suspect in the killing of his girlfriend's son and the son was only 16 months old first off fuck him for doing such a horrific thing to an innocent child and i don't even know why he did it i don't even like i don't even want to know it's the fact of the matter that he beat this little boy to death who probably most likely did nothing to him that's why you have to be very careful about who you bring around your kids it says 16 month old child and it didn't say his son so the child obviously probably was not his but it's sad either way but the set the the shocking part about it is not so much that you know he be uh that he killed this boy he was already arrested for doing so but they said that the police the arresting police had made a shocking discovery so i was trying to figure out what was the shocking discovery that they had made it turns out that um antonio bridges when the police first spoke with him had gave them an id like a driver's license and on the id was a man by the name of mark phillips senior and it was a georgia id now matt now mind you this happened in vegas he like they were living in vegas he killed that child in vegas and he gave an id for georgia which is which for Vegas would be on the other side of the uh, establishment in a different time zone. And to make matters worse, the ID that he gave to the police of that man, Mark Phillips Sr., that Mark Phillips Sr. guy is dead. You heard that correctly. He gave them an ID for a dead man. Mind you, the man they found out to be dead had been dead for uh, about a year. So it's like it's raising red flags. I'm like, you're already in trouble for killing this child. And now you done gave up an ID with someone else's name on it for somebody who is no longer living. That makes me believe Now that made me raise my eyebrows even more. I said, did he kill this Mark Phillips senior guy and take his ID and try to assume his identity? Let me go ahead and read this article and hopefully it can make a little bit more sense to it. Last week, police arrested 34 year old Antonio Bridges for the death of 16 month old Mark Phillips Jr. There it is. Mark Phillips Jr. was the name of the child that he killed mark phillips senior i wonder if that was the dad let's continue it took 11 alive five days to get a copy of police reports from las vegas nevada and when 11 alive ryan kruger went through them he made a shocking discovery bridges the suspect in the case was carrying around a murdered man's driver's license pretending to be him after bridges was arrested for allegedly beating 16 16 month old mark phillips jr to death and the police spoke with him bridges apparently handed them an, a georgia id saying his name was mark phillips senior the only problem was mark phillips senior was murdered more than a year ago phillips had just returned to his paulding home, county home in 2017 when he was gunned down phillips wife natalie miller was the only witness that case has never been solved it's a question mark senior's sister queen of phillips can't figure out and more than a year and a half later she told 11 alive she's disturbed about the latest revelations 11 Alive couldn't find any sort of connection between Phillips Sr. and Bridges, and Queen of Phillips says she never seen Bridges before he was arrested, but now she can't help but wonder if there's more to this story. The question was how did he get the ID, and why is he walking around pretending to be my brother? That was very concerning to me. 11 Alive spoke with the Paulding County Sheriff's Office and alerted them to what Kruger found. Their detectives are looking into this. At this time, they don't believe the murder of Mark Phillips and Mark Jr. are related, but the fact that Bridges was walking around with Mark Sr.'s ID, investigators consider that to be suspicious. I consider that to be suspicious, too. So you killed this child, Mark Phillips Jr., 
you have his dad's ID who's been dead for over a year because he was murdered and you're walking around pretending to be him. I truly believe that he has something to do with the death of that child's father. And he took his ID and kept it. But I, like like I said, this that's why I said this story was going to was probably going to shock you a little bit is is very strange. It's very weird. But anyway, they need to either way, he killed the child. They have the proof of that. They need to throw the book of his ass, bury him under the jail, whatever. And nine times out of the 10, He's a black man. They're going to do it anyway. And it's well deserved. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.